Hello everyone, today we're going to learn how to use plastic gauge and we always want to start with the smallest which is green you buy it at AutoZone or something, it's two, about two dollars comes in a package like this when you get it you peel it open don't drop it because the only thing inside is this little string it's green string and then you rip a little corner off and, you'll, and here it is, you'll see what we're going to do with it later now so the first thing you take the main caps off here, put it away someplace else. Now, take this, make sure you rub off the oil and this one. And that's because this is oil soluble, so you might mess up the reading otherwise. Okay, and then we're going to break off a little strip. First we'll see how long it needs to be. You can use your fingernail. To break it off. Gonna... Okay. You can use a rag here. Make sure we don't have any oil. You can have oil everywhere else, but just not where you put the plastic gauge. So we're going to take the part that I cut off, set it right there, right on top. Try to make it even. Same thing goes for the next one. Really, you should do all, all five at once, but we don't want this the video to take too long. You're breaking a piece of that green wire looking thing and you're putting it onto this portion, the yes. reams. It's called the How long would you break it off? It's called the main journal. However long the main journal is. However long this shiny part is. That's how long it needs to be. Okay. So now we Get our cap. And you say you can buy this item anywhere? AutoZone or O'Reilly or Napa. Is there other brands that you can get or this is the only one? I don't know. I think that's about the only one. You can get the green one. It comes in green, red, or blue. You should start with green. It's the smallest. Earlier you said to break a corner of it off. Are you supposed to take one of the grid lines with the measurements on there? No, you worry about that later. So, okay. Right now we're going to put the cap back on. So make sure no dirt fell into this area right here. If even one little piece of sand fell in. It's no good. Okay. So we put this down. Okay, this one we put down. And we'll do the same for the other one. Make sure there's no dirt. Dang. All right. Also, these should be numbered. These have a number stamp you can see on it. And pay attention to the arrow. The arrow points which way is front ways. Can't see that lighting's off. Also, we have one that's already completed. I'd like to see that. There you can see it left a little green mark. Oh, so they squashed it? It squashed it, squeezed it. So then you compare on your little chart here. Uh, looks like this is, so it goes green, white, green. Look at the, you, you can also use this new one here. But you better fold it over. That's millimeters. We're like inches better, so go over here. All these are the same, right? These, these yeah. grids, mm -hmm. lines. Right, so what's it say right here? What's that number right there, see? 
the bottom one. 0 0.003. Right, so that's how much clearance we have on this one. And you repeat for the other ones? Yes. So. All four of them, right? There's four total? Right. What is the point of this? Uh, if the bearings are too loose or too tight, then... Uh, if it's if it's too tight, then the bearing won't get any oil, and then it'll just lock up, and then you'd have to take your engine apart and fix it again. If it was too loose, then you wouldn't have enough oil, and then it'd also get messed up, and you'd have to take it apart again. Does your engine have this problem beforehand? No. Before you begin this project? We don't know. This came from the junkyard, so we have no idea. Probably it's okay. We'll see. So you never ran this engine? We never ran it because it wouldn't run. No compression. Oh. Okay, so now we torque these bolts down. The book we found, it said 65 foot-pounds. So we'll just torque it until it says 65. What tool are you using right now? It's called a torque wrench. So first we go to about 35. You can adjust the tensioning on this torque wrench? No, you just watch the needle. So wait until it goes to 65. That looks like 65, about. And then the other one, same thing, over here. And you're tightening the header's nut, the bolt on it? These are called the main cap bolts. Ah. Okay, these are both tightened. So now we just directly loosen it. Also, this torque value says that the bolt was supposed to be lubricated with oil. So, we're supposed to dip the threads in oil before we tighten them. I had done that earlier, but for people out there, just don't forget. And we'll take it off. We hope this is also three thousandths. The book we found says should be about one thousandths to three thousandths. Any bigger is too much. What's the reference source? Uh... We'll post that on the info section.